Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate WooCommerce with Salesforce. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account or log in to our WooCommerce account at WooCommerce.com. I've decided to show you the fastest way how we can make this integration work. Uh, and sadly, it, uh, you can't really make this integration work through WooCommerce, only uh, not as fast as possible. So we are going to use third party application. So I decided to use automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. First things first, once we are here, we want to go to the integrations on the top corner of automate.eo website and click on integrations. Once this pop-up window show up, we want to slide over to see all categories window. Now we can pick from more than 200 apps to uh, integrate. So we want to start and write down WooCommerce. Once we found uh, the app that we are uh, we were looking for, let's go and find the counterpart, which will be Salesforce, like that. Straight away, Automate.eo is providing us with some popular integration integrations. Uh, so. As you can see, you can already pick from like add or update a contact in Salesforce on a new customer in uh, WooCommerce. So uh, if you won't be able to find the integration that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember on the left side, uh, underneath the triggers, you want to start with uh, WooCommerce. Uh, so let's start with a modified product as a first option in here. On the uh, opposite side, underneath the actions, you really want to go and go with Salesforce. So add or update a contact, for example. But feel free to pick the right options for you. All we have to do now is click on Try It Now button. And you'll get asked to sign in or sign up to automate.eo account, so either login or register new one. We can also use zapier.com, which is basically a very similar app to automate. Uh, once we create account here as well, let's go to the top left corner and click on create zap. We want to start with a trigger, which will be WooCommerce. We also need to pick uh, the action or the trigger action. So let's stick with the first one, continue. And all we have to do now is to sign, a, uh, sign into WooCommerce account. Second action, as you probably thought, will be Salesforce, like this. Action event, stick with the first one, continue. And the last thing is we have to sign in to Salesforce as well. And we are a few clicks away from actually finishing this integration. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.